Hello everyone, it's Miss Grow and Afro and I'm back to do another YouTube video and I wanted to talk about the whole Adele in mass feathers and she's wearing a Jamaican bikini flag top and I just, wow. Now don't get me wrong, yeah, I'm not one of those people who will call cultural appropriation scream it like all the time but I just I just find it very weird because you understand the actual culture behind Notting Hill Carnival here in the UK um it was actually started by a Trinidadian woman and I noticed that there is a lot of erasure that's happening and it just really bothers me because you understand the history of carnival like carnival from back in the Caribbean it's all to do with emancipating yourself from slavery, okay? So the enslaved people in the Caribbean started carnival to mock their slave masters who were, you know, doing masquerades and they started it to mock them. So it doesn't make any sense why certain demographics are taking part. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I understand white people who take part in carnival who actually take the time to understand the history and you know the culture behind it but some people don't some people just you know are just taking it to be as a free for all everybody can take part never mind about anything else like everybody can take part and it's this what I feel like is kind of destroying carnival it's losing its roots it's losing its history because instead of actually calling out people who take part in it and are doing fuckery instead we are just saying oh you can do whatever you feel to do anyway like do they actually understand do they actually understand the history behind carnival and why we actually celebrate it and why it's actually such a big deal for us first it's not just about dancing it's a lot more than that now to address Adele completely, she has these Bantu nuts that I'm sorry, they just look ridiculous. They really do look ridiculous. They look like they're going to yank out her freaking edges. And I'm just... I, I, I don't understand it. Like, what was the reason? Because, first of all, yeah, like I said, Carnival here in the UK was founded by a Trinidadian woman. So, and don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm saying that Jamaican people here in the UK don't take part in carnival because they do. But I'm not understanding why she's going to carnival dressed like that. It just screams like cultural appropriation she to has me. these mass feathers on, these baby back feathers that you would see. Like the size of these feathers, you would see them like on a child, that kiddie could do man in Barbados, not like on a grown ass woman. So it's really just weird to me. And then these Bantu nuts, like... It don't make no sense to me. Where do these Bantu nuts coming from? Like, see, she could have just gone there with, like, two little pigtails or something like that. Why are you wearing... Why is your hair in Bantu nuts? That is, like, an African thing. That is, like, a black person's hairstyle, okay? Bantu nuts or Chinese bumps, as we call them in the Caribbean. But I don't... really don't understand why she went to this little... She went to this little thing and the hair looks like that. It don't make no sense to me at all. Like, and this is the other thing that really is getting on my nerves that a lot of people don't seem to be understanding you can appreciate the culture without having to dress up in the culture okay the two are very different so i'm not understanding why on earth she is why she chose to dress up like that to go to this little event the other day like do you see jamaican people going to carnival with Bantu nuts that often, no you don't. So I'm not understanding why this white woman who has no links at all to the West Indies is dressing up like that or no links to Africa, dressed up like that. And I understand that she was um, raised, born and raised in Tottenham in London, okay? And she was, you know, majority of her friends, I believe, are black. But at the same time, you can appreciate the culture without having to take part in the culture. 
Like, come on, common sense now. And of course, people are probably going to come from my head for saying this, but I really don't care. Like, how, how many times have we seen this white people doing shit and then all of a sudden it becomes popular? Now we're going to see a whole flock of white people who don't understand Notting Hill Carnival, who don't understand Carnival all around the world wanting to take part and now don't get me wrong i've seen that i've seen plenty of white people who go to carnival in the caribbean and they actually understand its roots and heritage and of course there is the white people who are native to native to the caribbean who also take part in that because that technically is their culture because they was born and raised in those islands so it's their culture but i just find it weird that non-white people or white people who are not from the Caribbean taking part in that culture, it just looks very disingenuous to me. It doesn't look... It looks very fake and it looks... F like, sis, the Bantu nuts, I know your edges are suffering. I know your edges are suffering. Like, it don't look good. Like, the whole outfit, she looks uncomfortable. Like, she did not look happy at all. Like, you've got these feathers on your back here. These tiny-ass feathers. you got these Bantu nuts that look like they're pulling out your frigging brain cells pulling out your thoughts and all this kind of shit and i know you think it looks i know you think that it looks good but it says it really don't look good it doesn't it doesn't uh -uh, sis that was a bit of a miss a misstep like you could have just like gone in any other outfit you really didn't have to dress up like that and that's my problem she didn't have to dress up like that because why on earth was it necessary why was it necessary and everyone's, of course, everyone's talking about, oh, no, we're not going to cancel Adele. I'm not saying to cancel Adele. I'm not saying that at all because I personally love her music. She's not one of my favourite singers, but I do enjoy her music, right? But I just don't understand like, It's okay for you to love an artist's music, but call them out and they're fuckery. And this is cultural appropriation, okay? Now, I'm not saying that she is claiming that she invented Bantu nuts or the Jamaican flag or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying that... If you're not Jamaican, why are you dressing up like that? Like, I'm not understanding why she felt the need to do that. I'm just so confused because I'm not understanding where, like, people are saying that she's not appropriating, she's appreciating. And I'm like, can someone explain to me where she's appreciating the culture? Because, like I said, Carnival was not started by Jamaican people, so what is she doing? It was started by Trinidadians, okay? And you know the other islands as well. No, I'm not too versed on Jamaica. And, um, it's carnival roots, but from my understanding is carnival is still fairly new in Jamaica, as in it's not as big as in comparison to Trinidad, Barbados, you know, Grenada has spice mess. Barbados has um Kadoomin, Grand Kadoomin. He also has the Crop Over Festival for the three months. Um and you know, Trinidad has theirs for I believe two months before and then they have the culmination of that in the actual, you know, two day carnival. But Jamaica is still fairly new with their carnival. Like and as far as I'm aware, it's still their carnival still supposed to be going on in October, but I don't know about that. And I just feel like people are big, big hypocrites on Twitter because if it was any other bug standard white woman who was not famous, you would be cussing them out for cultural appropriation. But because you like Adele's music, you can't call her out for what this shit is. You wouldn't find that shit cute. And let me talk about that freaking white chocolate, yeah. That guy who's going around claiming that he's St. Lucian just because he was dating a St. Lucian woman. I don't understand, like, how you guys are still bigging this man up, this white man, this cultural appropriating rat, because I don't understand how you keep bigging this man up, yeah, and you know full well he has no place in a culture like that. And it... It irritates me because he's now got these opportunities to like go to these, to go to the different carnivals all around the world. And like he's getting posted on these, he's getting posted on these carnival pages. But black people who are doing the exact same thing, they're not getting the same amount of love. So what go on there though? So what's really going on? Because you're not showing them the same amount of love.
You understand? You're not showing them the same amount of love. You're being, you're being bloody stupid. Okay, you're being hypocrites. You, these double standards, I'm not understanding. Yeah? Because black people who are doing the same thing, you don't show them the same amount of love. But this white boy calling calling himself white chocolate, yeah, um, claiming that he's from St. Lucia, but no, he's English, okay? His parents are English. But you don't seem to care about that. All you seem to care about is this is this oh yeah let's big him up because like a white boy can whine big fucking deal he can whine there's plenty of black people who who can whine as well even better than him can walk up better than him too but you don't care about that all you care about this freaking white boy because for some reason certain people get excited whenever it's a white person can do that me i don't ever get excited when a white person can whine or walk up i don't ever get excited because unless they're from the caribbean what the fuck am i supposed to be getting excited for bug standard white people doing a little wine and everyone's like oh my god look at them but like when it's showing black people you're there calling them you're calling them sluts holes and um, all this kind of stuff calling them degenerates and all this kind of shit but when it's a white person you want to be clapping hands like fucking seals it don't even make no sense to me or no crosses but adele like there was no need there was absolutely no need for none of that, okay? There was no need for that. Like, you could have just gone to that event and, you know, dressed up normal. Like, any other bikini top, I would have been fine with. Bantu nuts, why was that even necessary? I mean, to be fair. And you know what? One thing that's really bothering me is people who are not West Indian telling, telling, um, coming to tell us west indian people that we should not be offended by what adele is doing she's done nothing wrong like first of all if you are not west indian stay in your fucking lane okay actually i'm gonna say this if you're not west indian or you're not african stay in your lane because i have a reason first, if you're not west indian stay in your fucking lane okay because you're not got the right to tell west indian people how to feel about that situation all right then um secondly if you're not African because of the Bantu nuts, you know, they originated in Africa, I believe. Um, and I know some people are picking faults with her for doing that hairstyle. Um, but again, it's this whole talking over people um, saying that they don't have a right to be, they don't have a right to say, oh, it's cultural appropriation and all this kind of stuff. Like you don't have, you don't have the right to tell us what we can be offended by. If other West Indian people don't find it offensive, I don't give a fuck. But if you're non-West Indian and you're coming to tell us what we should and shouldn't be offended by, then that's kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? Because I said this before, a couple of weeks ago when I did that video about famine. I'm like, certain people need to stay in their fucking lane. You really need to learn to stay in your lane. Now, I know people cussed me to death on that freaking video, so I turned my comments off. Yeah, and now you're thumbing me down like hell because you ain't got nothing better to do with your life. It's okay, though. It's okay, find something better to do with your life. But thanks for the 4K views, I appreciate it. You seem to realise you're cussing me, but all you're doing is giving me is giving me more views. Which giving the video more attention, so thank you. But honestly, learn to stay in your lane. I said this before, learn to stay in your lane. Empty barrels make the most noise. And if you don't find this offensive and you're non-West Indian, you really need not to be giving your opinion. Because no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Mm -mm. it's not for you to be giving your opinion on and now the daily mail is now the daily mail is saying that she looks cute and that bloody what's it pop charts page on twitter is saying it's cute the mirror celeb is actually i'm actually surprised the mirror celeb is the only newspaper that has actually said um that she sparked a cultural appropriation debate they're the only ones now i mean i give a I mean i give a rascal about um the mirror but i have to admit i was quite impressed by that title i was i'm gonna give you props and that one little thing because every other every other article you've released is fuckery but anyway i'm going to wrap this video up here but adele please please don't do that shit again okay because i'm still gonna play your music now and again but don't do that shit again because sis it was not cute it wasn't cute it didn't you looked uncomfortable you like that smile was a grimace okay it was a grimace okay you know you didn't you know you know you was uncomfortable as hell like sis don't fucking force it you didn't need to force it you was all right the way you was dressing before okay
okay you was right the way you was dressing before you know like that nice little outfit you posted on instagram when you was watching black is king that was that was that was nice but like this bikini top thing and the bantu not sis stop forcing it okay having black friends don't give you the right to you know take part in black culture and that's that's how i'm gonna end the video all right i gone bye Hello, you've reached white girl yardy, girl with a tight pussy. I'm sorry I'm not available to take your call, but please leave your message after the tone. They call me the white girl yardy, uh huh. Yeah. Every black man wants to fuck me. Yeah. They call me the white girl yardy, uh huh. Yeah. Every black man wants to fuck me. Yeah. They call me the white girl yardy. Come on baby, come into my room and wet my sexual appetite Oh yeah, cause I love how you do it like that On the bed, on the floor, give it to me baby all night Make me scream and moan They call me the white girl yardy, uh huh Every black man